Canoe Man's ex-wife heads for the hills. How Anne Darwin now lives by herself in a one-bed bungalow and goes hiking to clear her head. While he shops for new Filipina wife in Manila, as ITV show relives how she helped her husband. Fake his death. Anne Darwin. 69. Regularly embarks on long solitary walks around North Yorkshire Moors and Cleveland Hills. She lives a quiet life by herself in a small one-bedroom bungalow in the pretty village of Great. Aiton. Ms. Darwin was jailed for six years in 2008, along with ex-husband John, who became known as Canoe Man. Couple's deception is now subject of ITV series The Thief. His Wife and the Canoe, which airs again tonight. The former wife of Canoe Man, John Darwin has taken up hiking to clear her head. Neighbors told Mail Online today, as a new TV drama rakes up her criminal past. Anne Darwin, 69, regularly embarks on long solitary walks around the North Yorkshire Moors and Cleveland Hills. Those living in the area revealed. She lives a quiet life by herself in a small one-bedroom bungalow in the pretty village of Great. Aiton, North Yorkshire. Avoiding the village shops. Tea room and pub. She instead seeks solace in the surrounding countryside. Her former husband. Meanwhile, has been pictured shopping for his new Filipina wife. As thousands of viewers have tuned in to see their extraordinary story told once again. Ms. Darwin was jailed for six years in 2008, along with her former husband, for fraud after he faked his death in a canoeing accident and disappeared so they could claim his life insurance. The deception, which the couple even hid from their two sons. Mark and Anthony, made headlines around the world and is now the subject of ITV four-part series The Thief, His Wife and the Canoe. The drama has aired every night since Sunday and a documentary, titled The Real Story, is broadcast tonight at 9 p.m. Ms. Darwin, who moved into the bungalow just over a year and a half ago, keeps a low profile and has not been seen since the show hit television screens. Neighbor Sally Scott told Mail Online. She's not been around for the last couple of days. Her car isn't in the usual spot and hasn't been since before Easter. I think she's gone away somewhere because she knew this new TV drama was starting at the weekend. And it would bring up her past. The neighbor added. I speak to her fairly regularly and she's lovely. To me she comes across as a nice genuine lady who has fitted into our little community very well. A lot of people are unaware that she is the former wife of Canoe Man, John Darwin. She's certainly never mentioned it to me. But a few of us know. She's moved into the bungalow where my father used to live. That's how I actually got speaking to her. She's become really interested in hiking. The first thing she asked me was where was good to walk and if it was far to Captain Cook's monument because she wanted to explore the local area.